A consumer alert all new at five. Every year, millions of us get phony calls, fake emails, and scams directed at our money or personal information. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty is always tracking these stories, trying to help scam victims. So he joins us now with the top five scams you need to watch out for. So it hasn't happened to you yet? Well, just wait, unfortunately, because 1.4 million new scam-oriented websites are created every month. It just never seems to end. Scams, and every year they seem to get worse, and 2018 was no exception. The top scam? Online purchases that feature a very convincing website that tries to get you to send money for a product that either doesn't exist or doesn't arrive. Next up, employment scams. You know those work-from-home offers. They usually want you to play the middleman for a small cut, or in some cases, you have to pay them. Do not fall for these. Another big scam is the old fake check or money order. I've received a few of these at my house, and they look real, but they're not. The scam works by you depositing this bogus check, then sending the scammer a small portion of it back. The scam, the check is a total fake, and by the time it's discovered, you're out what you sent the scammer. Free money just does not exist. Phishing scams work worldwide. Millions of people getting these, and that's why they work. Strangers requesting money or your personal information, all wrapped around some sob story that's fake or some offer that doesn't exist. Tax collection scams will be ramping up soon because we're now in tax season. Let me tell you, the IRS will not call you. Let me repeat, the IRS will not call you asking for your information, like your social security number or birth date. Sometimes the caller even threatens you, like this one I got a few weeks ago. Before you get arrested, please call immediately on our department number. Yep, a scam, so don't fall for it. Yeah, the scam that gets me the most is called the grandparent scam, and that is where someone will call your grandparents pretending to be you and saying that you're in trouble and need money. This is a scam. If you get one of these calls, don't call back on a number they give you. Hang up and call your family first. I'm Bill McGinty, NBC Charlotte.